So welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground. And today we'll be doing a project called Cat and the Basketball. We will be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Broadcasting messages, touching sprites with sensing, use pick random, motion slash movement, and key press, and sprite on click. So Cat and Basketball, today we will work on this project. This is how the layout looks like. So this is our new project. First of all, we need to rename the project to cat and a basketball. Then we can rename the cat from sprite one to cat. And then we'll need to get a bunch of sprites. Start from the basketball sprite. Then we'll need to get the CAT letters. We need the letter C letter A, and a letter T. T. Okay. And we also need a backdrop. We might choose a basketball backdrop. Okay, so now we need to put the CAT up here cat. So first we'll start out with the code for the C. Okay. So we need to do a one on click when this flag is clicked, then we'll need, we'll need to go to this position. Negative 119, 130. Then we will go when sprite clicked. We need the one sprite click. So that means if the C button is pressed, then we will glide somewhere down here. So as you can see, this changed. So we will glide probably three seconds. Three seconds to this position. We can wait one second. So it stays down there for one second. Then we'll move back up to this position right here. Maybe another three seconds. We need to change this to negative 119 and 130. Then finally, we might want to make the letter C change color so we can go to events and then click on the when space key press, then you can change the color effect by 25. Change color effect by 25. So now we have the C button done. Now let's head on to the A button. So for the A button, when clicked, we want to go to this position, 7, 126. And then we need to, when the sprite clicked, we want to glide two seconds to maybe somewhere down here. So when the sprite is clicked, then we will might glide somewhere down here. How about that? So we collide maybe two seconds instead to this position. Wait one second. Then we can glide back to the home position. We, this is all for the A, the A sprite. Now we will head on to the T sprite, okay? So when the space bar is clicked, we want to turn right 90 degrees. So it'll just turn right 90 degrees if you click on the space bar and change color by 25. And we always want to set the position to where I placed it. So in this case, the position is 111, 127. Okay. So now if you run it and you click on C, it glides down here and it will glide back up. Now, if you press space bar, this one turn, they both turn, change color and the T rotates by 90 degrees. And if you press the A, it glides down and glides back up. So this is how we do the animation for the CAT letters and 
Next, I'll be moving on to the basketball and the cat. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell to receive the latest updates from this channel. So now we will be working on the cat and the basketball. So first, we'll start out with the cat. So first of all, we need a one clicked. We want the cat to be somewhere right here, maybe. So we want to go to right here. And then we want to repeat until touching the basketball. So then when it touches it, it will make the basketball bounce all around. The basketball, yes. And it will move 10 steps. That means it will move 10 steps every time. Next costume, it will make it look like it's running. And wait 0.1 seconds so it looks more realistic and it won't keep on going very fast. It'll have like a short pause. We'll broadcast a message called kick and it will and the basketball will receive the message kick. So then next we will be going on to the basketball. So the basketball will receive the message kick. And we also need to set its position. So first we need a one flag clicked. Then we might want to move the basketball somewhere maybe right here. And then we find this. And then now we can work on the kick function, the uh, broadcast message. So we want it to turn, pick random, negative 180 to 180 degrees. So it'll pick a random degree in between that range to 180. And we want a forever loop, and a forever loop means everything inside will repeat forever until the stop button is pressed. Next, we want to put a move 10 steps, so it'll make like the bouncing effect. And if on edge bounce, that means if it's on the edge, it'll keep on bouncing. And we can add, Change color effect by 25. It will make the basketball change colors. So finally, now we can play it all together. See, now the basketball's bouncing around. You can press the C. It moves down there, comes back. You press the space bar, it changed color, and this one rotates by 90 degrees. Press A. The A goes down here and goes back up. So thank you for watching, guys, and see you guys next time.